Okay, so today is April 7th. Good morning. Um, please make sure today you watch the Khan Academy videos, which are going to be posted on general on the teams. Um, watch the visual learning video on Pearson Easy Bridge, of course, and work on the practice buddy assignments. Please do all of this before you try your quick check. Okay, um, before this video, you should have watched the Khan Academy videos, which really gave you a nice overview of coordinate planes and um, the X and Y axis and all of that. I'm just going to review it really quick. Um, here we've got the X axis, which goes horizontally, and the Y axis, which goes vertically, and the place of origin is zero, zero. So let me just give an example really quick. Let's say I have the points three, three comma four. I'm going to count um, I'm going to count one, two, three to the right, and then because that's the x point on the x axis, and then I'm going to go up four, um, one, two, three, four, and my point will be right here, and I can label that <clears throat> point A. Um, they might have different letters and whatever, so let's go ahead and do some uh, examples. All right, so there are no directions here, but basically you are finding the points of point B and A. So let's go ahead and find B. B is right here. Um, I'm going to go to the right until I see B on top, basically. One, two, three to the right. Okay, so the first point is three. And then I'm going to go up until I hit the B. One, two. Nice. That was an easy one. Okay. Now what about A? A is actually sitting on the origin, so I don't even need to count anything um, because I don't go to the right at all and I don't go to the go up at all. So uh, A is actually zero, zero. Okay, nice. So if you watch the Khan Academy videos, that's um, this should be quite a review. Um, this is just some more practice. Uh, let's take a look at T. So T, uh, the x-axis, T is right here. And I see that it's right on the y-axis, so my first point is going to be zero, because I don't go to the right at all for this one. Um, and then I'm going to go up because I didn't go to the right. So I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five. So my Y point is five. Okay. Um, going to X. Let me find X. Let me erase this really quick. Whoop. Okay. Um, X is right here. So I'm going to go to the right until I hit it starting always at the origin, or zero, zero. This is called the origin. Let's see if I can write on this. Not my best handwriting, but I tried. All right, so X is right here, so I'm gonna go to the right until I see X on top. One, two, three, four. All right, my first point is four, and my second point is until I go up, so <clears throat> One, two, three. Okay. Trying another one really quick. And once you really get the hang of it, um, you'll see how easy it is. It's quite fun, actually. Uh, okay, so for Y, we're only going to go up to 11 just for the purpose of the time in this video. So for Y, it is uh, on 
starting at the origin. I'm going to go one to the right. And I already hit it, okay? So that is, the first one is one, and I don't go up at all. I don't have to go uh, vertically at all. So my second point is zero. All right, one more example for this one. Uh, my next one is W. W is right here. I'm going to go to the right until I see it on top, starting at the origin. One, two, three. Okay, my first point is three. My second point is one, two, and then I hit W, cool. So it is three, two. Okay, cool. So moving on to the last example. This one says complete the table, list the point and ordered pair. Um, oh, by the way, all of these are called ordered pairs. When you have two with the X and the Y, they're called an ordered pair. Um, list the point and ordered pair for each vertex of the pentagon at the right. Now, I see one, two, three, four, five that we have to do. Um, this word vo vertex, each vertex of the pentagon would be referring to this one, E, C, A, and I, and G. That's kind of a uh, geometry term right there, which we're gonna get to uh, later this year. So I'm going to find the ordered pair for point E, point C, point A, um, I, and G. Okay, so point E, I'm going to go ahead and erase this because I can't see my letters. Okay, starting at the origin, of course, we will go starting from zero, zero, always. We're going to go one to the right. So that first ordered, first point in the ordered pair on that X axis is one and up one to hit E. So my ordered pair for E is one, one. Okay. For C, again, always starting at the origin. This is something if you just start randomly, it will be a disaster. So always start at the origin. We go to the right one and I see C up here. So this first point is one. And then I'm going to move up until I hit C. So one, two, three. Okay. Um, now to find A, I'm going to start at the origin, one, two, three, I see A on top of here, so my first point is three, <clears throat> and going up, one, two, three, four, five. This is getting a bit hard to write in here, I'm not very coordinated with this mouse, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, to find I, we're going to start at the origin, count one, two, three, four, five, stop when you see I on top. Um, so my first point is five, and going up, one, two, three, And lastly, my last vertex on the pentagon, there are five vertice, vertices on a pentagon because there are five um, sides and vertices on a pentagon. Um, starting at the origin, one, two, three, four, five, and then up one to hit G. So it would be five, whoa there, five, one. All right, if you have any questions on this, please make sure to rewatch this, rewatch the Khan Academy video and the visual learning video before doing your practice buddy and quick check. All right, thanks so much. I hope everybody has an awesome Tuesday.